this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for June um, 2016. And for you, your ruler is going to be in Gemini energy. Um, it's going to be in Gemini energy until about the 20th, and then your ruler is going to switch over into um, Cancer energy, and that's going to be the 20th through the end of the month. So initially you have Gemini energy. It just kind of makes you feel on fire. It makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you feel good about your choice. It makes you feel ambitious. I mean, it's the duality is dramatic and fun. I mean, you're just overly, you're very lighthearted. You're very optimistic and enthusiastic when you get in Gemini energy. When you drop into Cancer energy, I feel like it puts, it dumps water on your fire. Like, I feel like, wow, I have to kind of think about everything. I'm, you know, I've got, you know, you're very hypersensitive. Um, the steam that is associated with that between fire and water, it's a lot of introspective energy. You, you th overthink things when you get into a cancer-based sun. Um, you're very critical about making steps moving forward. I just believe, not to mention, there's a lot of 12th house work that's involved in this month for some of you. So I like to talk about the energies that are at play uh, for the month for you. Uh, for you, the first through the end of the month is the sun is going to be in Gemini and then it's going to switch into Cancer. It's going to be conjunct with Venus. So for this entire month, whether it's in whether it's in uh, Gemini or Cancer, you're going to be conjunct with Venus. When you're conjunct with Venus, what happens is you start to really think about what you want. You start to really think about what you hope for. You start to think about your friends and your networks and how accepted you are and how socially accepted you are. Um, you start to really... Um, you start to really see the duality, um, I think, in some of these situations, these social situations that you have yourself in. And you start to really understand, do you really, should you really be emotionally, you know, should you really be emotionally investing because there's some sort of duality or maybe some sort of situation that does not feel ideal. Now, the problem with this month is that on and off, your ruler is going to be involved in immutable uh uh, Grand Cross. And so you are going to be pulled in many directions. What you value, what you want, you're going to have to have the discipline, the structure, and you're going to have to be dutiful and responsible. Um, you're going to have to make some changes. You're going to have to have this big reality check on just what, what you want. You're going to have to take risks that have, that I think you need to, it's not like fun, energetic, crazy risks, which we, you would be compelled to do in Gemini energy. No, it's more about the reality check of you idealize this. This is what we need to move away from. We need to move over here. These are the risks involved with making that decision. So I think that this month is, um, is definitely going to be an energetic month that tears you in a lot of different directions. Now, you're dramatic in this in energy anyway, but this month I think is going to make you extremely fiery, extremely resistant. You may just fight some of this stuff just for the sake of fighting it because, you know, you're just headstrong. Um, what most of this is going to be motivated by is things that you feel that you deeply deserve um, at your level. This has to do with what's in your mind. Like you have set the bar here and you feel that everybody in your social circles or in social networking or your friends or whatever should be here with you. And I believe that some of you may feel some resistance in thinking, wow, I'm this person. How could you not see, you know, how amazing I am? So I think from the 1st to the 12th, the Sun in Gemini is going to oppose Saturn reality check time. you got to change some things, and they're going to be risky. And it's going to be a difficult conversation because you're going to want to make this headstrong, you know, ambitious. You know, you're very dramatic. And Saturn's going to be like, no, you can make this decision. You can make this change. But you need to consider all this stuff. It's a lot of thinking things through and you're much more of an impulsive creature especially when your energy is in Gemini that's just it's off-putting it's not tragic it's off-putting from the from the first to the 15th the Sun in Gemini will square off with Jupiter and 
And from the 1st to the 11th, the sun is going to square off with Neptune. From the 2nd through the 11th, the sun in Gemini is going to square off with um, the North Node. What you value may not be necessarily what you will have moving forward. I believe that there is a possibility for some disappointment. There's a possibility of things being so, so um, skewed in different directions, so extreme. That I believe a change is not is not only immediate, but it will it's forthcoming. But it, it's hard to make this decision because I believe that this change makes you very, it's a very, you're very sensitive to this change that you need to make. It also fills your heart with a lot of deep um, feelings about the situation. All of this, of course, is helping motivate you to make some really grounded choices moving forward and to move up toward the top of the earth trine that is, you know, Jupiter in Virgo. This is about, you know, in order to get what you want, the prestige, the fame, the fortune, the things that you feel you deserve, the partners, the whatever, you have to value the work that's involved. You have to value the consistency. You have to value the dedication because it takes all of those things to get what you want. But it's very hard because sometimes you feel like so deserving. And then I think that there's a lot of stuff going on in your in your head right now of like, I've been doing this for so long. Like, I deserve this level. And, um, you know, that's the challenge in this energy. I think from the 4th through the ninth, I think that your ruler is going to have, in Gemini, is going to have a very difficult conversation with Pluto, which is in retrograde, all about past mindsets. These are repetitive cycles. Fear comes to mind. Um, repetitive cycles that when you don't, necessarily get the pleasure you seek or what you want or what you deeply value at this time or what you feel like deeply you deserve when you think about it I believe that for many of you this this ascension period is so difficult because what it's asking you do to do is to value the level of determination that it takes like this has to be a very consistent um dedicated mindset and gemini energy can make you inconsistent and non-directional sometimes and a little bit sporadic and this energy if you if you if you want to get what you want it has to be the way that it it feels it should be i believe that um I, the 7th through the 20th is a beautiful conversation with Uranus. This is about, I think you're just looking at it from a different level. So you have all this energy pulling you in different directions. There's some different perspectives. There's some different ideas. There's some different mindsets. Maybe not getting everything you want or value at the time that you feel like you deserve or value it. Um, it's tickling your mind to think of things in a different perspective. And then you're going to start to deeply identify with opening up your mind to like, let's take a look at this a different way then. Let's do it a different way. Um, I think on the 6th, we have the sun in Gemini it aligns with Venus and Gemini. Exactly. So this has to do with everything that you hope for. This is a point in your life where, and this is in a really good energy for you, where you feel like you deserve this. You need deserve to feel good at this point. Like you deserve it. Uh, you know, you've been through enough. There's been enough dark. You want the light. Like you are very decadent. Um, for the hope that you desire at this point, that hopeful situation, that hopeful relationship, that hope. But there is a grand mutable cross at the same time forcing you to make some changes. If you want this, you've got to make some changes. you got to value being practical. you got to value consistency. you got to value habits and routines that support what you want. And you've got to start to move away from karmic paths that no longer 
serve you. You've got to take a risk. You've got to venture forth. And, you know, this is, it, it's so hard because you feel like you deserve this energy, but the energy is saying you got to work for it. You have all of these things to consider. You haven't even considered. You need to take this, this, this very calculated risk that I believe will guide you to what you want, but it's not going to give you this immediate result that you want. I mean, are you going to put in the energy? Are you going to work hard enough to do that? Some of you are going to be asked this very difficult question. And then on the 20th, we have the full moon in Sagittarius. This is the second full moon that you have. Um, and this full moon is all about creativity. It's about taking a look at it from a different perspective. It's about venturing forth. It's about taking a risk. Um, at the same time, the sun moves into Cancer. Um, so when the sun moves into Cancer, this is a, I, I believe you're going through a very scary time. This is something repetitively you've been doing for a very long time to break free from it, to move forward from it. It takes a lot of risk and determination. You have to deeply identify with the big picture of this cumulative full moon. Now, this is the second of two full moons that have been in Sagittarius. So from May to June, what has been brought forth? What do you need to change? What, what has been shown to you? You need to end things that no longer no longer serve you, or there needs to be an accumulative effect of all of this information to expand your, the way that you're looking at it. You have to allow this opening, this awakening to happen. I believe that it's, that for some of you, this is hard because it makes you face something painful. It reopens a wound that maybe had not healed correctly because you just, you know, did what you had to do to get on with your day. But the, the, the cumulative ending is you're going to you're going to figure this all out. It will initially get you closer to the what you seek. This is all about creating longevity. It's a nurturing. It's a it's a much more harmonious. It's a loving environment. It's stability. There's a lot that goes into making this decision. But first, the cumulative ending has to happen or a decision needs to make, be made or a different way of looking at things forces you to kind of take the road just a little bit different. If you do this, it is karmically designed that I think you're going to be much closer to that faded um, path that I think that you should go on at this present moment. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching in that Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on... And I look forward to talking to you guys again 